everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're making stir fried fish cakes, which is also known as omuk pokum. So if you guys want to know how to make this, please, let's be friends, hit that subscribe button and watch me cook. This is probably one of the easiest side dishes you could probably ever make. So all we need to do is grab this pack right here. We're not even going to use all of it, but this is for a few different times if you want to make this. But all we need is eight sheets of this. And what I'm going to do is give this a jump start. This is not necessary. This is optional. But I am going to just throw it under the water and let it thaw out. And, or at least, you know, get it moving first. But I'm going to run it under the warm water and just pick up each sheet one by one individually just to make sure you can see like it's still a little bit frost is it frostbitten at this point I'm not even sure where it's just ice right there because I just pulled it out of the package in the freezer but again just each individual sheet and it's just gonna help move things along faster is it necessary no but you know whatever helps but I'm gonna put it in the basket and let it all sit there and drain for a second while I get things prepped and ready to go that was some fast prepping huh so <laughs> all I'm going to do now is try to keep these as even as possible. And you guys have seen me cut tofu before. This is basically the same thing that I'm going to be doing again. Cut it in half evenly. Cut it again in half again. And continue so forth and so on. Do not judge my cutting abilities here. We are trying to do the best that we can. And thawing it out first helps a little bit with the cutting process because I'm cutting it all at once instead of just a few sheets at a time. Yes, you can do that, but did I? No, because why would I? <laughs> but you don't have to do it this way. You can actually cut these whichever way you want to. There's no rhyme or reason to this. You can cut them in triangles, cut them in big chunks, cut them in smaller chunks. It doesn't matter. This is just how my mom did it. Can I get it just like my mom's? No, but this is really good too. So whatever works for you. Now that I'm just about done cutting everything back up, all I'm going to do is grab that strainer basket and throw everything right in there and let that sit aside. I'm going to cut, wash my cutting board and these are the veggies I'm going to use. Just three of them is all you need. Actually, you only really need two of these. You don't even need all three. The carrot is optional. Why? It's just for color. Just to like, you know, make things prettier. So just clean it up and then cut these into really thin strips. So again, not necessary. It just adds color. It gives it a little flavor. It is not something that you need inside of this dish. Now that the carrot's done, we're going to grab our green onion. Just cut off the end right there. I have a, a fairly large green onion right now, so I'm just going to cut these into, well, the green part into thirds. And then my green part, I'm going to cut it in half. And because it's so thick, I'm going to cut that in half again, as you see in the video. And I'm going to keep a part of the white, the end of the white part right there. You'll see it. I'm just going to keep a little bit of it just to garnish with at the very end. Is that necessary? Again, no. But guess what? I'm doing it all for the color and to make everything all nice and pretty for the presentation. As for the onion, this is something you do not want to skip. So make sure you do this part. Use a quarter, use half of a medium onion, just slice it really thinly and make sure this all goes in. Moving along to our sauce. Um, just use your substitution as needed. You guys know I'm diabetic and I have a little bit of gluten sensitivity, so I do use my substitutions as necessary. So as you can see, I just used my Splenda, and now I'm using three tablespoons of my tamari. Again, use soy sauce, use light soy sauce. Use your regular one, it really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna give it a quick stir, and then I'm gonna throw in some garlic. Mine is just some minced puree garlic. Use two large garlic cloves and mince them up. Again, giving it another quick stir, just to get things moving along. I am sprinkling a little bit of black peppers in mine. Here is where you would add your red pepper flakes if you would like to make it a little bit more spicy. Just add whatever preference it is that you'd like of how spicy you want it. One to two teaspoons is what I would recommend at first just to see how your taste buds will react to all of this. I just threw in a tablespoon of rice wine. You sold you if you don't have rice wine. Whatever alcohol you can actually substitute or you can skip it. It's not super necessary but you can add it right in there. Now I am guesstimating about two tablespoons, heaping tablespoons of veggie oil. I'm just going to make sure this is hot over the pan and check it just to make sure with my hand. And then we're going to go ahead and add our uh, sliced up sheets of fish cake right into the pan. And we're going to saute these for a few minutes. This whole cooking process with the slicing and everything else 
will probably take you less than 15 minutes, probably a good 10 minutes if you move along really fast, but because I'm trying to make sure I have my shots in there with my camera, it did take me a little bit longer. But I'd say it takes no more than 10 minutes to make this fresh, easy side dish for you guys, and it's just super easy and delicious to make. So after a few minutes, um, on high heat setting is how I started it at first. I went ahead and threw everything in, and now I'm adding my onions and my carrots because you guys know carrots do take a while to cook and we're going to cook these until our onions become translucent. If your onions are, you know, just still together, just break it up with your wooden spoon. That's all you have to do. Pretty simple. Continue stir frying this for a few minutes and then we're just going to go ahead and grab our sauce in a minute and we're going to throw that in there. And this is basically it. This is how simple everything really truly is. But I'd say it was like a good three minutes of just me sauteing the fish, uh, the sliced fish cakes, only because they were, again, remember, if you guys saw in the beginning, they, I did bring them straight out of the freezer. So they were a little bit frozen. I did try to move it along with thawing them out a little bit. But not that they are not cooked, because these are cooked all the way through. But you know, we just want to make sure everything's nicely heated. As for stir frying with the veggies, you guys know how it is. You want to make sure that's cooked through and sauteed and it's softened up. Now by the time I'm adding the sauce in, I went ahead and turned my setting down to medium. So you wanna cook this a little bit lower than how we initially started. And we're just gonna make sure we toss everything nicely to make sure every little piece is nicely coated. I probably stir fried this for another good three to four minutes to make sure everything is cooked through and sauteed and nicely coated. And this is where I also wanna add, if you, don't, if you did not add the red pepper flakes into your sauce, kind of skeptical you can throw it into the pan at this point right here too if you want to sprinkle a little bit on there again your call up to you in this particular recipe I did not use sesame oil but if you want to you can you can just throw it in right here at this part it's good you just need to start with two three or four tablespoons um, not tablespoons Ooh, that'd be too much teaspoons of sesame oil and then that would be it until we put it all into a nice little bowl and garnish it for you guys just to have as a nice little side dish or lunch box, lunch box dish, whatever you prefer. And if you notice, I did add the green onions at the very end because you didn't want them wilted. You want to make sure that they are nicely cooked, still firm. You know, let me give you guys a better view. Doesn't that look nice? It looks pretty that way. So it's not wilting and everything is nicely cooked and it's everything, you, you know, you get the idea. It's a good picture here. But this is one of my husband's favorite side dish. He just loves it so much. I mean, I can make the whole entire pack and he will eat the whole entire pack. And this makes a lot. This is a good side dish that'll last in your refrigerator for a good week at least. I mean, it doesn't last that long in my house, but I know it'll last you about a good week's worth of just meals with your rice if you don't want to cook anything extravagant for the week. Okay, so all we have to do once we're done cooking all of this up together is set it into a bowl or a container or however you want to put this it's up to you. Just throw some sesame seeds on top with the little bit of garnishment that we decided to chop up and throw it on top as well. And that's it. If you guys like this recipe, please hit that subscribe button, like it and share it. And until the next meal, thank you for watching. Watch me cook.